are not playing World of Warships. Playing War Game of Dragon. Boom. Alright. So we look good. We are now live. Okay. So, hello everyone, if you're watching on YouTube, because uh, no one's on the stream. So, if you're watching, uh, hello. Um, I plan on playing some ranked games today, like yesterday. Uh, if you see this on YouTube, I, I plan on streaming every day that I come home from uh, classes and uh, streaming for like two hours, maybe longer, something like that, playing ranked games, playing games with people, stuff like that. So yeah, I stream every day around 2.30 uh, Central Standard Time or like 3 o'clock Central Standard Time. So you can kind of, uh, if you live in different time zones, etc., uh, you can, you know, use like the world clock or whatever and uh, see what time I'm streaming. But yeah, I plan to go live around then and uh, <clears throat> play some more game. So yeah, I guess we can... Go ahead and queue for ranked. Yesterday we played some land jet and USSR. We should probably try to play something else today because I don't really uh I don't really mind what we play. So we could play like um Eurocore. I don't know, that'd be cool for people to suggest X that we play, Sovco, Scandi, stuff like that. I don't I don't really mind playing everything, anything, as long as it's not like bad and I'm not gonna lose a lot of points. I think we're at 1963. That's not too bad. 1963. So we're 30th. Yeah. Maybe we can climb. I didn't. I didn't expect to climb with this account. I kind of wanted to. Uh, let it drop some fucking points or whatever, but I don't mind that much. Uh, I need music to play, but every time I play music, my VODs get uh, fucking copyrighted. So I guess I'm not going to play any music, uh, which kind of sucks. <clears throat> because I don't like to play without music, but whatever. And I don't like some of the free... Uh, music. I guess I can listen to it if I... Yeah, whatever. I'll listen to it. I guess it's better than nothing. It just depends on if it's copyrighted or not, which I hope hope not. Well Monster Cat isn't copyrighted but mm. sure. So while we're in queue uh, there's nothing for us really to do until we get a game, so it's kind of hard for me to at least be somewhat entertaining for people to watch uh, a lobby. So I can play other games and... Oh, well, there's no need. We got a game. Ugh. <clears throat> <sighs> uh. So we're playing against the Lieutenant Colonel, and we're on this side of Pujang, so not the too offensive side. Um, so we don't have a set strategy for this map, which kind of sucks for this side. Whoa, what the hell? Um, so that's why it kind of sucks, because there's a lot of different strategies that can happen. 
But I think we can make something work. Okay, this looks good enough for me. Um, so we're kind of going heavy in the mid, a little bit heavy on the left, and pretty light on the l mm, heavy on the right. I meant to say, a little bit heavy on the right, a little bit uh, pretty strong in the mid, and then like a light uh, just security force for Boris if he pushes there. You know, whatever. Oh, uh, you know what? I don't care. Um, so we plan to take Fedor, kind of. I don't know. It's just whatever. It's it's like this side is so defensive compared to the other side. You have to play like super defensive on this side, I think. Like there's very few ways to play full aggro on this side unless you go for like a straight Fedor push. Like pushing Anna is pretty much impossible sometimes and pushing Boris is just like I've never done it and I've never ever I've seen like twice in like other replays where people have done it su successfully. And even then it's like whatever, who cares, you know. So, it's like, you have to, on this side, you have to play really defensive to the opponents. The other side is just obviously ten times more aggressive. So, it's just, you know, you have to counteract what they're doing. So, that's why we do the heavy push, uh, like the heavy defensive units, etc. Stuff like that, so. Huh. I, I don't like this. When I stream, I get this awful, uh... Awful lag. Okay. Oh, that's the tank. Okay.
Using base Canadian Airborne? It's pretty bad. That's a lot of pioneers as well, dude. Jesus. I got about like four squads of pioneers or some shit like that. Apologize for this fucking whatever the CSGO music is, whatever the fuck this shit is. Cool, nice. Maybe he'll. Mm, I don't know. Navy SEALs. What are you doing? I can push uh, Fedor here in a minute. But, oh, I thought I didn't kill it. I was about to be upset. I, I don't know if I want another tank, which I do want another tank, but I'm going to go ahead and buy a PD since I know he does have a Harrier. And, uh, I'd rather... I'd rather know he has, like, counter something I know he has than, you know, counter this push that I guessed that was coming with the, or the tank. Oh, wait, I already bought the tank. Okay, yeah, never mind. I'm a dumbass. So we're just going to show it to him, right? And then we're just going to evac because uh, either he's going to guess that it's gone and we're going to we're gonna push this here now. I think this was a CV right there. But we're gonna push this and I wanna spot his uh, Eric's teams and kill him. Maybe. May maybe not. Maybe I'm just not gonna spot him at all, actually. We got it.
Nice, he got scared. Should just go in there. I think I bought a little too many cargos for over here. <laughs> we can just do that. I mean, that's. Pioneers aren't going to kill a BTR-90. And this guy just keeps wasting fucking missiles at this BTR-90 like it's going to like they're going to hit. He's just an idiot. Oh, well, I guess if you don't move the BTR-90, it's going to die. Well, they're not in range, but a one MiG is going to ruin this guy's day. He has a Mexus and ADATS and uh, something else. I'm a Bradley, obviously. So we'll just reinforce that again. That is spotted, so there's probably recon there or there, obviously. Um, I think we have enough base defenses, but I think two shulkers are good enough. A C2. It's not even a Mexus. That dude's cutting him sore himself pretty cheap there. Maxis is the real player, real kingpin. C2 is pretty bad. I might, uh, I might just get a super heavy over here, because that's how you beat this whatever the fuck this dude's doing, or just push through the right more. Oh, we lost the Mig, really? That sucks. He bought another one. Hit him? No. You aren't that lucky. Just whiff both. Oh, yeah, he CV'd it? Well, I know where it is. I know where the CV is. So maybe instead of the Super Heavy, just a Brutino is going to be fine as well. Think that works. Think that works. Let's see what's over there. So we almost have the toss one. What is this? Doesn't have anything spotted. Looks like there's like Delta Force over there or some shit. We bought a Tunguska for this, okay. Oh really? He spotted that? And we didn't spot him or kill him? Anytime you want to start shooting. Thank you. We got it. Oh god. 
We waste a lot of time. We should have bought that a long time ago. Um, so yeah, we'll do that. We know where the CV is. Um, and this guy is going to be cool. I guess we can just... Sure. It's 80 points, but uh, we don't need it. Like, the 80 points is like not going to make or break this game. We know where the CV is. And we have pretty much full control over this side of the map. In the sector. There's nothing going on here anymore. I guess I'm loading. We can probably send that to his base. If he's not paying attention. So, nothing's happening. Nothing's going on. We missed. Missing is bad. And then losing more than one of your squad because you miss is fucking fantastic as well. 10 out of 10. Two more cargos for our toss, because we know we're going to need it. There's another tank coming in, I believe. But yeah, we're just going to keep doing that. Nice. Killing that's good. Like, we have to kill it. I think. I don't think that minigun's very good. I think the Vulcan one's, like, better. He's trying to chase our BTR. Hey, you can do that. Sure. Though we won't win. Oh, never mind. We stunned him. Yeah, okay. I didn't think we were going to win. But indeed, we do win. I like spying leopards. Spot quite a few. So use about 10 rounds. Kill whatever off. Pioneers or whatever the fuck it is. Recky there. That's right for the mind. I have a feeling the CV is just back there. Use ten rounds. Maybe we killed it. Maybe we did. I think. Maybe we should just kill whatever this shit is if off right here. Uh, I mean, go BTR. Thanks for killing everything for me. Yeah, we're gonna get... Oh, we have a BV-1. Oh, and yeah, you're running into VDB. Rip. Sorry, dude. What? <laughs> this guy's the luckiest fucker I've ever seen in my life. 
<laughs> he missed like two 85% shots. Like that that's pretty lucky. Oh, so there's whatever that a push. I don't even think this is a push, it's just actual cheap units there. We have a lot of points, so like there's no point there's there's absolutely no point to spend your points at this moment in time. When you're this stable in the game, there's no reason to buy anything. Because A, like, nothing's threatening you. Like none of these units are threatening me, right? There's no push, there's no actual development, you know, there's nothing nothing's going on in the game, you know? And I guess you could say, well, you know, you can make a push, you know, there's there's no reason for me to make a push, right? I can just sit here and wait for him to make the push and obviously I have enough money and units. I have a fucking Bertino. So again, there's no reason for me to like, you know, use anything. If I need the Bertino, I'm just gonna drive it to the other side of the map, you know. I don't know what the hell that is, but it's a dead plane. It's a nice hundred points. I guess he was naping a tank. I don't know. But it's dead. I, I, I guess, I guess we could spend the money on a T90. I guess, you know. We bought a, what, a Shoka? Again, there's not enough stuff here that is actually threatening. It's just microing and killing, out microing him with one tank, literally. Just literally just doing that. Just out microing him. He's trying. I'll give him that. He hasn't given up. It's good.
Oh. Okay, I'm not feeling this song whatsoever. But this song was good. I'll listen to this again. So, um, I guess the summary of that game was the dude really liked Pioneers. Like, really liked Pioneers. Um, no super units. We didn't see Longbow. We didn't see M1A2. We saw, like, ADATs and Bradley, right? Like, th this tank complete, like... <laughs> Here, I guess, let's just go over the replay, right? And I guess I can kind of explain... I'll turn the music off as well. So, I think this is a good example of, um... Like... On his, like, just... Pushing ineffectively, I think this is what... The mistake he made, right? So... It's... I, as far as I know, right? What he did, uh... His start was, like... Nothing here, some small shit here, and then like pioneers and like mostly this left push that doesn't like doesn't work whatsoever. So it's pretty much just a push through here, right? But it's not a full commitment push. It's like if you're if you're gonna push this force, you have to push it with force. You can't just uh, I'm gonna send some stuff through. Hopefully the he puts nothing there, right? Like. And he, you have to have at least some pressure mid to do that, to push through this, this forest here, right? Because, like, my units are coming here, and if you're, if I see your push here, I'm just going to do exactly what I did. Flank you, and if I need to, I'm going to send some extra forces around and just and put it in here, right? So, I guess he, this step was pointless. There's no, like... All, what he did with this 60 points this 60 points was he flew it up and then turned around that's all he did scouting i don't even know if it saw anything i guess i can't go back now but so stop okay so he unloads like stingers erics this canadian airborne not even 90s don't ever take these there's no reason to take these the gun's good but over 90s, there's no reason to take these. I mean, you get everything's better with the 90s. So don't, I, the, the, there's, don't, don't take these. They're, they're awful compared to the other brother. Too much stuff here. Literally, you don't need, you spend, like, you spend, what, these are like 25 points a piece. 25 plus a Stinger team. That's probably, I don't know, the price of a Stinger team in a Humvee. It's probably like 30, 20. I, I don't know. Fuck it. So you spent like, you know, you could you could have just gone with this, like one squad of infantry and a scout vehicle, and then fuck all everything else. And then next would be like, uh, like th this is fine, you know. There's nothing here. There's no tank, which a tank is pretty useful to apply pressure on on this side, but no tank here. Tool Wolverines, which are useless. Hey, pieces for 35 points. They don't even do anything, and. And who buys four squads of pioneers? What the fuck is that, dude? What are pioneers gonna do versus tanks? And I mean, I guess it's force combat. I guess that's cool, right? But seriously. So you know, loads pioneers, cool, whatever. Send them, cool. Buy a plane that kills a tank, worth, I guess. Those die, etc. Like there's no pressure. He plays nothing. There's no push. There's it's just you know I'm gonna spend you know how many like pioneers plus Navy SEALs and then just lose them for free and then buy two buy a plane and then do nothing right. So yeah, nothing happened. This game is actually 30 minutes long. Absolutely nothing happened. Like, I guess I was probing enough to make him s keep spending points in Fox, right? But... It was just small pushes I was doing. Abusing BTR 90s and shit. Hmm. 
What? Why does he buy Zippos? What the fuck is the point of buying Zippos? MVT 70s, blah blah blah. More Eric teams. Eric teams are OP, but they're not that great. More fucking. More Pioneers. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's a mistake or something, but the amount of Pioneers that guy had was ridiculous. And then just, yeah, that, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. I don't mean to, like, critique him or anything, but, like, that game was just a disaster. Like, no pushes or anything. So, we'll queue back up. Actually, I'm wondering if I want to play something else other than USSR. doesn't look that bad. I could play this. Doesn't look that bad. I could play this, yeah. Why not? I could find it. There we go. So we'll play this and see how we do. I don't mind it that much. Yep, there's some decks you just have to deal with being bad at one thing but good at everything else. Which is fine. You just, I don't know, you have to get lucky. But that's what VLB Mistrals are for. But in, hopefully when the patch comes, People won't be abusing those in mech decks anymore. Which will be a good day for me. But, I mean, I feel like the, I feel like now Ranked is just literally going to be 100% USSR. Which is kind of sad, but... I mean, if you want to play the best deck, then you're going to play USSR. Nope, no man pads. Er, yes I do. Yeah. I think. I should. Yeah, man, pets. <clears throat> I don't know why these have terrible availability. I think, I think readdressing availability for lower tier spags is a big priority. Looking at like, um, like I need to look at Commonwealth, EC, and just, I guess war game. Uh, a availability as a whole. I think, I think it should be buffed all of it. Cause like decks like this, like having this little AA that's effective. Like, why why are there only you know fucking four Rollins? Right? There's 65 points. Like, this doesn't make any sense when you get can get four books. Yeah. So yeah, you should at least be able to have five or six. I think I think just buffing it by one would be good. Why not, you know? 
Buffing this whole line by one would make it better. Yeah, buffing everything by one availability would be better. Better frame of mind. Uh, yeah, my my suggested nerf for the BTR90 uh, would be good, but I still don't think it it would change much, to be honest with you. I use two cards of BTR90s, and uh, depending on how like FLX wants to look at it, there's different ways you could nerf it. Um, not the stats-wise, but probably the availability and stuff like that, but... Yeah, it's, uh... How would I link my... Uh, I need to link... Um, YouTube... I don't know how I'd link my channel. It's not... E uh, it's not easy. Better frame of mind. Copy video URL? Does that even work? Does that work? Name of mind. With your slight frame of mind. I think, um... Uh, I think your core has bad recon, like, aside from, like, recon infantry, I guess I should say. Like, their recon infantry is pretty terrible as a whole, besides Fernspear, but Fernspear aren't good at doing anything besides, like, sitting in a one spot and not doing anything. If you look at... Mm, like, it'd be cool if they had some 10-man recon squads, like, this shit's awful. Like, they have no LMG, which makes no fucking sense. And then Commandos Para are just like Commandos Para. I mean, I'd be down for them to get like a nice, uh. I, um, fuck me, just skip this shit. Uh. So I, I'd, I'd be down to give them like a 10 man special forces team. But not with a, with like a DMR or some shit. That sounds kind of cool. Instead of, uh. Uh. A false Omega 90 copy. I really wish this was in mech decks. This thing is so fucking sweet. Yeah, Germany's just shit out of luck when it comes to AA. But there's been some interesting threads about making some of these Rollins uh, optical, which is kind of sweet. I don't know if they're getting any traction, but I think uh, I don't think your courts as strong as people say they are. Uh, they're just good in certain situations, for sure. I mean, Eurocore's good in team games, but... Uh, in smaller games where they have to use their AA, uh, without the VBL and shit like that, Eurocore really lacks... Jesus, this is dark. I don't like that there's shadows in the armory, it doesn't make sense. Like, just... can I turn them off? Is there, like, an option for shadows in the armory? Because that shit's terrible. Shadows. Uh, why can't I... I can't change my settings. How do I... I don't know how I'd change my settings without fucking everything up, so... Custom? Ah, perfect. Um, shadow texture quality.
Can I just turn shadows off? Sh off. Model quality. Depth of field. Shader. Uh, okay. Do I still have shadows in my armory? Fuck. This is so dumb. I don't want... Like, <laughs> from a design... Like, here, let me... Is there a way to turn it off? Does anyone know? I don't want any fucking shadows anymore. I'm not... Well, of course, there's good recon inventory. I just think your core would like another 10-man squad. I think every major nation should have a 10-man recon infantry special forces team. Like, <laughs> these guys are insane, right? This loadout's just like a dream loadout. It's just that they're like, and their little brother's good too, but... I just like... <laughs> it'd be cool to have some just not have AT at all. Like, I would go with, like, MP5 and, like, an LMG and then, like, a DMR. That would be pretty sweet to me. Just have an all-around, all, all around, just recon, just have no AT whatsoever. Or giving them, like, a man pad. No, I think that'd be actually OP. Never mind. I think giving them a man pad would be ridiculous. Because you would just pair that with an AT team and just fucking kill everything. Yeah, that'd be really OP. And then you have like shitty ones like this. We play we there was something in our patch log buffing this, like I forgot what it was, like giving this a like a Carl Gustav or something. Like a fifteen man squad or some shit. There's too many shitty ones. Non ninety ones that just aren't in the game for some god awful reason. Like why are these there's obviously a nineties version in alive, so why isn't there a fucking one in the game? I think it's just a little lazy. With people getting new units, I definitely think some of these coalitions that are strong just should... Everyone should have one. A 90s version. 10 men. Special Forces. Gamma may be off. Maybe. I don't know, isn't that where it's supposed to be? Why can't I change it? I don't know how this is gonna. I'm kind of interesting. I'll turn it off if I start to. Uh... Actually, I need to turn on. I need to turn my fan up. I think my CPU temps are getting a little warm. Oh my God! Please, computer. There we go. Turn it up a little bit. Actually, not even that hot. I think it's my CPU. Mm, oh, I'm actually running just fine. Temps are perfect. I guess I can turn this shit off, though. I'll keep that aside. So, nothing in queue, so I guess I can, like, uh, play GeoGuessr or something. Man, I hate this music. Fuck me. Maybe I should just do some streams where it's gonna get, you know, just for the stream, because all these streams go uploaded to YouTube, right? And I still want people to watch my, uh, vlogs of my streams, because I think people enjoy, like, watching games and shit, or whatever, but I, I hate fucking YouTube's policy for music. Shit's awful. Nothing against Monster Kid or anything, but I guess everyone has a different taste in music, and I don't like this too much. 
So this looks like America. Um, I couldn't tell you where. I wish you could just look at license plates. But for obvious reasons. What does this say? Go away. Hospice. Paris, Texas. I know where that is, I think. It's over here, right? I totally forgot. I used to live in Texas, and I have no clue where it is anymore. Paris. Okay, we're not in Texas anymore. Paris, Texas, Amarillo, Wichita Falls. Damn it. I thought it was over here. Tyler, Texas. That's Houston. I used to live there, right there. That's where I used to live. Where's Paris, Texas? Oh well. We got a game versus a corporal. Sad, sad time. Anyways, so uh, we're just going to spam Yeagers. There's no, there's no strategies to these maps. To this map, I mean, come on, seriously. Something I can cut. Sure. Okay, good luck. Have fun to our opponent. Um. I'm streaming on YouTube because it's a little bit better than Twitch's, and mm, I don't know. I don't like streaming to Twitch. No, I feel like there's like no war game viewers in Twitch anyway, so you know, whatever. I'd rather stream on YouTube, where my subs can see me or whatever, and then people can sub to my YouTube channel if they uh, like my war game stream. So works out for me at least. Oh, that's why I have so much money. I didn't buy a fucking CV for the two-pointer. I'm an idiot. Well, that's bad, but whatever. Confirmed an idiot. Oh, are we getting... What is this? Oh, we're getting cheesed. Or something. I don't fucking know what this is. Oh, we just lost. 
He was lost to a cheese. What? Oh well. We did buy the second CV, so he got punished, I guess. We're bad. Uh, would it even have mattered? Probably not. Someone we know is queuing, because that was a fucking quick queue. Or at least someone at least uh, at our level. God, that was embarrassing. Nah, I mean, whatever. You take this kind of game as a grain of salt. Hmm? Oh my god! Did we gain? Tell me we gained fucking LP from that. We're at 69? Ghost. Ghost. Well, 47. So that was a loss. Maybe it was demo. I don't know, that was weird. We just queued, again, queued up against... Uh... No one. Yeah, I mean, whatever. I, I, why even say GG after a fucking cheese like that? Like, it's just like... Congratulations, you're good at, like, two-clicking with helos. Like, whatever, dude. And we, we even put the fucking Mistral Squad there as well. So... Uh, yeah, whatever. It's a green assault. We don't mind losing points in this count anyway. I would have been fucking maging, raging mad if I would have done that. Um, well, we wouldn't even have queued that long if we're on our other account. But I guess that's what happens when you queue for longer than 10 minutes. What the fuck is this, dude? We're playing against a ghost again. What the fuck? What is this shit? That's so weird. Did we game? No. We're queuing against a ghost, guys. We've broken the system. That's so fucking weird. Is it broken? That's really weird. Now, the second CV wouldn't have done anything, right? It wouldn't have done a single thing. I mean, I guess we could have ran for like two years. I guess. But, I mean, we probably were still losing anyway, because, you know, Gepards. Like, we only bought, what, like two Gepards? I don't know. But it's whatever, I don't really think about it too much. If we get another one of these fucking ghost cues, it's gonna be weird. Oh, back to GeoGuessr. Um, Paris, Texas. And I, I used to know I always used to hear of Paris, Texas, but I never actually knew where it was um, on the map. So, uh, Waco, San Antonio, Albaline, Odessa, it's not this far out. Andrews Air Force Base. Where the fuck is Lubbock? Amarillo? I swore it was up here. We're in Texas still, right? Yeah. Ah, there it is. Okay, so where where's our actual... So we are on, we're on like the interstate or some shit, I think. It's on one of these, so we need to find a street sign that says which way we're on, which way we're heading, etc. Can you go back, please? How do I Google Cars uh, 
fuel up? Are they electric? Electric? Or is there someone driving them? Two one seven two seven one. So we're like, there's like a bend. There's like a turn. It's this, right? Whatever. We're gonna make a guess. Holy shit! Look how fucking close we were. Holy shit! We were actually like within. Oh wow, that's pretty sweet. Okay, we're we're good. This looks like South America. Yeah, South. I don't speak Spanish, and I don't. I failed in high school, so I don't uh, fucking remember. <clears throat> I don't remember where. Uh... Oh, we queued. How long are we in queue? Uh, three minutes. Yeah, if we queue against a fucking corporal again, I'm gonna be upset. So this is obviously Spanish. Okay, we got into game. Uh Wait, we're pushing. What am I, what am I doing? I'm not doing this shit. All right, <clears throat> so we're off to, uh, we're good to go. So what we're doing is we're pushing the two-pointer and Charlie through this long-ass forest area. We're going to go across this bridge or this bridge, well, to be determined. We're going to get into Charlie, push Charlie, um, and then we're just going to defend here and defend here and defend there, and then hopefully nothing happens funky to our flanks. Um, but yeah, so it should be good. Let's do it. Oh, fuck. We didn't buy an EAA. Oh, fuck. <laughs> wow, I'm such an idiot. Alright, whatever. We're hindering ourselves purposely. We bought one Mistral, which is not what you want. Um, fuck. Should I? No, I can't do that. That'd be too greedy. Whatever. That's our fault. playing against uh playing against your core or is that red dragon playing against your core
shit. I should just go offline <clears throat> in Steam. I shouldn't even be online. You can't, this isn't something you buy helos with and you attempt to stop with helos, buddy. Sorry. But I applaud the effort. I need to learn not to spam that shit. I spam it way too much. Where's that Leo? Okay. Uh, let's put something in our base, because that would be the only way we actually lose right here. Uh, we lost a 1A5. Somehow. Oh, no we didn't. It's right there. Oh, we... What? Oh, it's going that way.
Hit. Nope. He's dead. Oh, fuck. Fuck! Dude, this pathing is fucking killing me right now, dude. I- I've- this pathing is killing me. Like, just go this way. I wish you could, like, if- if I want to spawn some- Fuck! That's so bad. If I want to spawn something, just fucking let me automatically set a path. But this is ridiculous. Fuck me, man. I don't have time to pay that much attention to my shit. Don't I have Cassiopeia's? I do. Why don't I just buy one? Not a true Cassiopeia spammer, but... Okay, so you need to know you're going that way. I don't care that much. You have an arrow at cool beans. Fuck, those supplies are actually really important. I lost like... What, two squads of Jaegers? And, uh, a leopard, and, uh, some other shit because of fucking, because I wasn't paying attention to the pathing. It's my fault, but it's a little dumb in, ex in itself. Oh my god. Now we're just tilting. This is bad. But it, I guess... Mm, yeah, fucking hell. Whatever, we'll do that. We really, really, really needed those supplies a long time ago. I, I think, is that a CV? That is a CV, that's 100% a CV. No doubt. Oh, rip. Sorry, buddy. the fuck are you doing? Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Oh, well, hello, Cassiope. Was there actually full of infantry? Really? Uh, okay. I guess not having an equivalent to the Pinsable kind of sucks. <clears throat> this guy likes Yeagers as much as I do as well. Except that's a VDAA, which that thing sucks pretty fucking horrible. Oh man, rip dude, sorry.
Don't get them in, stun them or something, fuck. There we go. Uh, let's get a CB. And increase the pressure. Nope. Our opponent gets out of there. I guess that was like a recon instead of a CV. Oh. Okay. So that was, I guess, a game of EC Mech, and I don't feel like doing that fucking cheesy shit again. I don't like spamming Yeagers that much. But what I do like, I like spamming B-tier 90s, is what I like. And special forces. Um, back to Juga, sir. Um, no clue where this is, but it's Mao Nar. This is this isn't Spanish, right? I believe that's Spanish, though I cannot read it. Um, that looks like. Spanish. And finding out what Spanish speaking country this is going to be is fucking. going to be another game in itself. Um. I, I just guess these, to be honest with you. It takes way too long to figure out what fucking. Slumar? Casa? Oh, can I can I look at the police car? Air Concardio Corona. So it doesn't say shit. Is this a taxi or a police car? I think it's a fucking taxi. It's a, that's a white person. Is this? There's another white person. Is this Spain? There's too many white people for this to be like... Uh... I should probably... Not Spanish? It's not Spanish? Portuguese? Is it port- no, port- I don't think that's Portuguese. Let's- let's look at this from my restaurant. Cameno do Chop? That doesn't look like my- uh, Spanish. That- well that's Spanish- what the fuck, dude, am I like- uh, finding out where this is is gonna be. I don't know. I should probably just guess and move on, right? If I guess anywhere in South America, I'm gonna at least get some points. I hope. Unless this is Spain, but it looks too. Sander Cento. That doesn't Centro. That doesn't tell me anything. Duh. All right. I'm not into this. Like. Video game Mac. I'm not into that. Sorry. Um, shit. I have no idea where this is, so I might just guess. And I don't want to rely on anyone telling me. It's, it's Portuguese. Ah. <sighs> okay. Well, I guess that that's better. But uh, well, now that I know it's like Brazilian. I don't think that that's telling me anywhere. I mean, Brazil's a pretty fucking huge uh, country, so. 
no idea where this would be. I saw a lot of white people, so <laughs> I guess a good part. Like this doesn't look like I heard. This looks pretty nice, right? Looks pretty sweet. Looks like a vacation spot. I mean, this looks like a tour bus or some shit, mm, like an actual bus. Doesn't look like a city bus. Am I just wrong thinking that there's like no like this? This looks like a whole bunch of white people. I haven't seen any like dark dark skin, you know, Brazilian people. What the fuck? This is so weird. I see so many white people. This 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 is obviously like kind of touristy, and there's it's like mountainous. I don't see any like coasts or anything. Or am I just wrong thinking that there's a thinking there's so many white people in Brazil or like darker skinned Brazilian people? Uh. I don't know. Uh, some terrain to look at, and then... Some bikes. I, I don't know. But I'm gonna I'm gonna say Brazil and I'm gonna say Um Over here. Okay, it was completely down there. It was in this place. But sure I'll take the points. <clears throat> oh, fuck it dude, whatever. We know where this is. <laughs> it's in Australia. It's a shitty picture. <laughs> so we're just going to guess Australia it, it, on a road. I mean, there's no point in wasting time on that one. I think I've had this one before, and I don't... I mean, this this is just another long road in the middle of nowhere. Uh... Jesus, Q is taking forever. Six minutes, seven minutes. Uh, they didn't tell me anything. They just told me there's trucks. Why do they? Why do they even do this to you? I have to click for years to even begin to find out what even country this is. If it's English or. I guess the cars would tell me that Jesus Christ, are you serious? Oh, this looks like it's going to take a long time. So it's flat, it's wooded, f pretty green trees. I just need to know if it's American, if it's English speaking or not. That's the only thing I need to know. What kind of car is that? That look like a uh, Is this Australia again? That looks Australian. It looks like one of those Australian hatch, the uh, like whatever they're called. I'm gonna guess Australia. Maybe I'm wrong. Fuck no. Where is that even? What country is this? I was in Brazil again. I hope that wasn't too loud for you guys. I tried to uh, move my mic. Um, fuck, I hate these. I wish I had a second monitor to... Uh, to look at chat but I don't, so. We are in queue, we're waiting for a ranked, um, so this is the way to keep people somewhat entertained and interactive.
Oh, there's a nice sign up there. At least tell me what language it's in. Okay, the sign just disappeared. Ten out of ten, the sign just fucking disappeared. Did we go too far? Where'd the sign go? Are you kidding me? Wait, that was English. That was English. I think... Lake... Lake Wilkie. Okay, well it's in English. Um, no clue, never heard of a Lake Wilkie before. Don't go look it up and tell me. That's cheating. What? That's cheating. Don't cheat. Fuck, come on, dude. What is it doing? Okay. Maybe this can tell me. What does that say? Lake Wilkie... Oh, come on. Better quality, please. Yo, come on, dude. Shit. Why does the quality just stay so shit? Thirty nine minute return viewpoint of the lake. Uh, what does that say? Enhance, enhance, enhance. Hold on, let's see if we can get a better quality photo. Imagine if all these photos were taken in like 1080p, we'd be like, easy, it would be so easy. Maybe there's just a better quality. Can we? Please? What does that say? Department of Curriculum? It doesn't even say where! Fuck it, dude. We're guessing Lake Wilkie looks like... Fuck, I'll tap out. Mike says Oklahoma. Um, fuck it, dude. Missouri. Wow, what? It was in fucking New Zealand? Oh my fuck. Are you serious? Wow, we're idiots. No. Fuck, what? New Zealand? We got a point. Whatever, dude. Okay, we did really bad. I think our best score is like... 14,000. This it was awful. Oh no, not the same map again. What's the point of playing the same map? Wait, what? Oh, Russia, Ukraine, one of those places. Too many. Oh, we got a queue. Alright. If we queue against another private or colonel or corporal, I'm gonna go insane. The sergeant. I'm um, the cheese map. Oh, low, low rank on the best map for cheese. Okay. Hello, everyone. We are playing USSR mm, non-spec, and uh, we're playing against a sergeant on the good side of straight to the point. I don't even know anymore. Ugh. Fucking hell! I. What? 
Oh uh, yeah, I need to take a break after this game. Go get some fucking ibuprofen. Definitely need some ibuprofen. My habit, my head hurts pretty bad. I probably should eat too. Yeah, I'm gonna take a break after this game. Um, so, if you're on the stream, I'll be gone for like 20 minutes. So I make some food and take some ibuprofen, rest my eyes or something like that, and I'll be streaming again. Uh, probably playing ranked or playing with some buddies of mine. So we'll see. Um, now, the guy, <laughs> I don't want to get cheesed, the guy uh, readied up pretty quickly, and, uh, if we get cheesed, whatever, I don't care, dude. I'm not going to just completely base every game on getting cheesed, even though it happens pretty often. I don't, uh, <clears throat> if it happens, it happens, whatever, dude. Nice, I hit it. I'm actually going to move my base CB because I don't like the position it's in. I should have uh, done it a lot earlier, but yeah, I don't like that position. I can... Uh, I guess I'll explain a little bit of why I don't like it. Um, so... When um, when you're getting when, like on this side, right? There's too many options in terms of places that uh, helos can come from, and uh, having AA, right? Hold on, I kind of need a mic a little bit. What? Okay, so the reason why you, uh, here, I'd rather have my, um, my CV here, right, is if there's a helo or infantry that comes, uh, back behind here, um, this gives me an opening for them, for the Shoka to shoot, and if I'm here, right, uh, if I put my CV here or, uh, just anywhere along this forest, the Shoka is not going to have line of sight to shoot at the helo. So this way, the Shoka has a 360 degree, but the CV is at a little bit of a, you know, a interesting position when it comes to, uh, you know, being secure. So that's pretty much the whole reason behind it. But yeah, it's definitely something that not too many people th think about. But when it comes to playing at a high level, people really uh, like to do uh, base stuff. There's certain players that just only do it. Some that are known for doing it, right? So you kind of have to, uh, you kind of have to, kind of expect it sometimes and play around it. And this way, you completely play around it. I believe, at least somewhat. Like you're not 
guaranteed, like I'm guaranteed not to lose my base CV by doing this. It's just a precursive me measure to, uh, you know, to stop it. Hitting you up with the patent knowledge. Okay, so we bought the uh, the recon just to scout the town. We'd rather, uh, we'd rather scout with the recon instead of our K-52. Well, fuck that. I like my BTR 90s. Um, so we scouted to make sure there was nothing dropped off there. There's nothing there, so we can we're safe to send a bear skin CV. <laughs> We know there's some LSTR there, so kind of want to be a little bit careful. I'm going to wait for the fire to dissipate, and then we'll, uh, nice. If we get the CV, that'd be pretty good. There's actually nothing here. We can run across. We are that ballsy. Okay, well, game's over. Guess we can go back and queue. The game was pretty boring. So... <coughs> Uh, no, there's not, uh, yeah, as long as you have myself and Firestarter on your sub list, there's no one else. <laughs> okay, okay, no, I'm not. I'm not that. But, no, there's there's not too many people who upload regularly. In terms of, like, competitive gameplay, it's just me, Firestarter, and Captain. If you don't have Captain, Captain as well, but he doesn't uh, upload. If you're If you're missing Captain... He doesn't uh, upload at all, actually. <laughs> Maybe once, once a couple, a couple of months or something. Once in a blue moon, he'll upload something. Oh, right, I said I was taking a break. Um... Uh, I'll get in queue. I think I'm okay now. Uh, but I'm gonna go and run and grab some ibuprofen. Uh, cause I have a bit of a headache. I'll be back though. Um, I'll let you, What should I do? I don't wanna say- I'll show you guys a deck. Leave a deck open or some shit, whatever deck I'm using. Well, I'm gone. There you go. Have fun.
Sorry about all that. <clears throat> I found a piece of bacon, no ibuprofen though. What happened to Fuso? Um we still playing war game. A lot of people stopped. It got boring. Which I do agree, it gets boring. That's why mixing up with other games is quite fun. Wow, this shit's really good. Holy crap. I don't think the competitive scene is pushed enough. By Eugene. Wow, this thing is fucking good. Well, the problem with uh, a lot of people like making YouTube games right now, or YouTube videos of war game, is there? Yeah, there's a lot of pub stomping. Which, to be honest with you, you can't really help because a. Those YouTubers won't play competitive people, like good players. And B, there's not that many good players to play because they're all gone. Mm hmm. That too. Holy shit, that was so good. Well, th there's a lot of problems with Red Dragon, and I think if there were to if they were to make a new Red Dragon, right, they'd have to address a lot of issues with the current game itself because literally the the difference between uh, all three are very minimal when it comes to the actual game, right? They're just adding new dynamics, new units, right? They're not actually overhauling the game to be better. Like, there's nothing, there's no UI improvements, there's no menu improvements, there's nothing towards the player base improvements. 
there's just small tweaks in terms to make the game look better in the menu and UI, right? So you look at the difference between AOB and Red Dragon. Literally, it's just the same exact thing, different colors and different positioning of everything, right? And, and then there's, like, I guess new options and shit. There's no tutorial. Um, they could have literally just copied over the Airland Battle tutorial and put it into this game, but they went with this fucking PDF, whatever the fuck this is supposed to be. <clears throat> there's no rank, there's no matchmaking, there's a view profile, which no clue why that they have that in the game. But <clears throat> I guess I can talk about the game now. So we're playing again. We played. We just played on the opposite side not too many games ago. Um, hmm, something's weird. Something's going on. Okay, never mind. Um, I'm done listening to music right now. Fuck this shit. Too tired. All right. So uh, we could do. Why is that not working? Okay, now it's working. We could do like normal push. I don't like pushing on this side to two pointers, so I guess we'll just do normal. Um, first lieutenant. I don't know who this is. The name's kind of familiar though. Did we play him yesterday? I don't know. The name's kind of familiar, but whatever. Okay. Should be good to go. Whatever. Okay. Better AI for training, make it noob friendly, unit pathing, spawning waypoints. Um, well, <clears throat> the unit pathing currently isn't that bad. There are some issues, I guess, when it comes to like the way the map is designed and pathing. So, I guess in the previous game or the a couple of games where you saw like that, right? Which the AI doesn't know any better. It's taking the fastest route possible, right? So, you know. I, the unit pathing isn't that bad. Um, it could use some tweaks. I, I don't have any specific examples to where it could use tweaks, but I don't think it's bad. Um, but yeah, AI needs to be reworked to the point where it's... I don't want to say it's like pre-set out what it's supposed to do, but um, but the way it is now, it's just like heat-seeking missiles pretty much to your units pretty bad but um oh, I wish I had some ibuprofen I think the spawn points are kind of weird. He stopped his chrono.
Playing as your core. Those look like Falsham Eggers. Uh, I don't know what those are actually. They're not Falsham Eggers, they could be Eggers. Wow, that's weird. Okay. He's not even moving. Nice, we just melted him. B turn on, he's are balanced. We're gonna pop up and. I'm scared. I don't I don't know where his forces are. This is a lieutenant though, but I haven't seen enough to be sure that there's nothing funky going on. Okay. That could be something, but I'm not gonna hold my hopes too high yet. I think there's still possibilities of him doing something. <clears throat> We're gonna actually go here instead. Because we don't know if that's this is secure yet. Um. Yeah, I'm not gonna spend my. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. We can send this guy over. Okay. Yeah. I was wondering where the uh, the push would come from. But this is this is a good like uh now I know at least why where it's coming from. That's a lot of ETSIs. Um, I don't want to move the CV just yet. We are at a plus four, and I guess I, I guess I should move it now. Should be moved. Hmm. Hopefully we can get there in time. Somewhat close to being in time. Um, I'm actually gonna bring his VDV all the way back. Oh, killing that would be huge. Did we kill it? I don't think we did. But, you know, whatever. He has not not too much A. Nice, nice. Getting that is pretty huge. Oh, we got both. That's pretty good. Um, I don't want to do that. Okay. So there's a leopard CV that we know of. Let's do that. Let's get these guys moving, get these guys moving, get these guys moving, get these guys coming back. So I, I don't want to, uh, it's good to just make sure we can do a solid uh, push back. That's good. That's the tank CV there. Oh, he's just coming. He's just actually coming. I think we're gonna save for a good, yeah, a good fucking helo. Oh, uh, we're we're gonna need this sooner actually. He wants to counter cap the base. Oh, well, if we can if we can snipe this in the rear. Fuck. Nice, we got it. Okay, we should be good. Killing that was the only worry, but now we should be a okay. We lost our B tier 90s, but still good. 
Oh, that's bad. Our opponent is indeed a little salty. Maybe just a little. Just a leopard two in his base. All right, dude. Shit. You got it. It's a lot of Cassiopeias. Ten out of ten, top kick. Oh, man, I have a bad headache. I think I'm gonna get uh cheesed. Or maybe no, maybe it's just the game's gonna be I'm plus six, never mind. I don't think it matters. Obviously the stream saw my hacks. I'm hacking but it's not showing up on stream, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. Jesus, who buys eight martyrs? This guy had a plan. Okay, so you see why... Uh, why did it take so long? Did he stop? He must have stopped. He should have just... He didn't have enough infantry, I'll tell you that much. He must have stopped. Or, or, is that as slow as I think it is? No, he had to have stopped. There's no way. That shit was hella slow. Yeah. 
did he did he come across as well? I don't remember. Hmm. Spending a hundred and seventy points on a leopard doesn't make any sense. I mean, what what is counter capping gonna do, or or capping like that's 170 points you don't have to make sure you take the flank. The 170 points you could have used in Jaegers or whatever. Well, he didn't stop. It was just that fucking slow. And this B1 did work, though it did die. It did work. Put a leopard two to kill BTR nineties. This guy was indeed upset. Why would he complain about BTR nineties? And that's the, it's just what, what, what? <laughs> I didn't even notice that. <laughs> okay, well, ten out of ten, top lieutenant, best lieutenant I've ever seen in my life. Jesus, that was awful. That was awful. Okay, well. I might do some show matches between an old friend of mine. Though I don't even remember uh, if he was like really competitive or not. God, I don't feel like dealing with B5s. Yeah, the Panther was a next level strat, I hope you know. Like, I don't even... 10 out of 10, don't even understand that one. <sighs> what do I want to do? Don't even remember how this guy plays. I'm still mad. He's still extremely upset. Uh, I don't know what I want to do here. I don't know what I want to do. What 
Whatever. Yellow. I have a headache too. I probably shouldn't even have uh, played this game. I think I'm going to take a break actually. Because my head hurts pretty bad. Do something like this. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, yeah, the dude is super mad. Uh, I don't even think I need the Bertino actually now that I think about it. I think I'd just rather have more infantry. JK, probably like two squads more infantry. Uh, whatever. headache really starting to hurt. Uh, let's just get this game over with. And we'll figure something out. I need to learn not to spam that fucking tab anymore. I do it like, oh my god, I do it not even knowing. It's not an accident. Well, the fact that it killed eight dudes within fucking 20 seconds kind of sucks, but... I can hear the BTRs everywhere. Okay, let's go. He's dead. I don't even know what I want to buy. Something here. More infantry, probably. Another group of spets. Uh, another tank. Yeah, all that good jazz. Tunguska, stop doing this to me. Speed hasn't done anything, which kind of sucks. Well, I guess we haven't spotted anything either, so. Well, that was pretty fucking retarded.
That was really bad. <sighs> Every time I do that, it just... Wow. <sighs> Pretty sure he knew that was the Tunguska he just killed. Maybe he didn't. Losing that is like pretty awful. Maybe not game losing. Maybe it is game losing now that I think about it more. Depending on how bad this these hinds fuck me up, which it looks like they're gonna fuck me up pretty bad. Yeah, fuck. No, don't even shoot at the fucking hind. There's no point to shooting at the hind. Just stop. Just stop. Oh, well, we got the weapons jam. God, this guy loves his hinds. He loves them. Maybe I should just buy a VP or a V and just fucking fly around and kill his hinds or something. Cause Jesus, this is a lot of hinds. But I, I want to get recon in the mid because I don't have any. Maybe not that many, but. I think I'm going to buy a VP just for the sake of mind, to be honest with you. Yeah, I, I'm going to buy one. I think. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Uh, that's kind of weird. Why oh, that spotted so close? Why is that spotted so close? <sighs> I... W when you play it... I'm not even gonna get mad, dude. I'm not even gonna get mad. I don't know, like... There's a. I guess I should have talked to him about it before games. So whenever I play casual games, I don't expect shit like this to happen. But I guess playing around it is just whatever. But when casual games like this happen, um, 
the first thing I tell my opponent is I won't do any base stuff. I won't do any none of that helo bullshit. But if he wants to do it, that's fine. I guess I shouldn't expect people to have good manners in casual games. Which is my fault, but... Uh, whatever. I kind of expected not to uh, see those helos going... No, that's seed. Oh whatever. I, I don't I don't I don't want to play this game. That that losing that is just kind of hilarious. I even reversed and <sighs> fuck. I'm just tilting. It's not even playing anymore. I need to focus. This game is winnable. It's actually super easy. I'm tilting. I'm fine. I got the hind. Game isn't over. Actually, it probably is over because we don't have a <laughs> we don't have our T90 anymore. We just completely lost it, and now we have no tanks and. Our whole, fl like, this whole basis of the push is to have BTR 90s, or not BTR 90s, um, the T90 there, alive. And it died because apparently it's in sight, like, here. Like, it's in sight here. It doesn't make any sense. But hey, shit happens. Um, we're in okay shape. And we spent a little bit of our money on shit we probably shouldn't have, but mm, it's whatever. Betsnaz are kind of useless here, right now. Better trade. You can see if he has any A. God, that thing is killing us. Just still spotted, that's so weird. He still has the B five. I missed.
I, I don't I don't I don't expect to play like this. Um I don't I don't like that. When I do casual one v ones, uh, everyone I like random Amber, Faust, like any of the people I play casual one v ones with, I uh you know you know, it, we both expect each other not to do any base things or anything like cheesy like that, so uh, it's whatever. Yeah, uh... <laughs> Fuck, my head hurts. Actually, I'm gonna head off, guys. My head hurts too much, and, uh... I hope that was good enough. I played a couple games um, for you guys to watch, so if you just came in, you can watch part of the VOD or something. I played multiple games. But yeah, I might stream in a couple hours from now, so check back later. Um... Yeah, but, uh, yeah, I have a really bad headache. Maybe I even a migraine. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to head off. Uh, feel free to whatever YouTube gaming is. You can sub to my YouTube channel. Uh, watch some of my games on my YouTube channel. Stuff like that. Um, and check back maybe in, like, two, three hours. I might be streaming again. Um, but, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys maybe either later tonight or tomorrow. Probably later tonight. But, yeah, I need to, uh, I need to, you know, shut my eyes or something. My head hurts too bad. But, yeah, um, thanks, everyone, for tuning in. And hopefully uh, you guys can watch the VOD if you guys want to watch games or YouTube channel.